We are now going to provide some definitions about partial fractions. And partial fractions are defined as the parts of a sum. So, for instance, if we have 5x plus 7 over x plus 3 times x minus 1, this is going to be equal to 2 over x plus 3 plus 3 over x minus 1. Each of these pieces right here is called a partial fraction because it makes a part of the whole rational expression. The process of decomposition is breaking a rational into its partial fractions. And so that's what we're going to talk about in this section, is how do we start with something like the equation on the left and get the pieces on the right that we add together to create that. So, a couple more definitions. An improper rational is when the degree on top is higher then on bottom, and the degree in the numerator is higher than the degree in the denominator. And a pr proper rational is when the degree on the top is the same or lower than on bottom. So those are our definitions. We've got a couple more, because these come up. These are the four different cases, actually, that we're going to talk about in partial fraction decomposition. Distinct, distinct linear cases. x minus 1 is a distinct linear case, because it has a power of 1. And it's linear. There's no squared in it. There's no cubed in it. It's just x minus 1. So this is a distinct linear factor. A repeated linear factor is when we have that distinct linear factor, but we square it. So whenever the power on the whole factor is higher than 1, it's a repeated case. And in fact, that's going to be true down here. But our distinct irreducible quadratic is something like x squared plus 1, where it doesn't factor further. And so the best we can get is a quadratic out of it. And so a distinct one is just one with a power of 1 or no power written, where a repeated one would be the x squared plus 1 to say the third power. Again, the power here is any power that's higher than 1. And so these are the terms that you need to know when we're talking about partial fractions.